Sweden's air defense capabilities have undergone significant modernization in recent years, driven by heightened regional security concerns and its integration into NATO as the alliance's 32nd member in March 2024. A cornerstone of this effort is the IRIS-T missile system, which serves both as an air-to-air -air missile for the Swedish Air Force and a ground-based short-range air defense solution known as Luftverns Robot System, LVRBS-98. Developed through a multinational partnership led by Germany's DL Defense, the IRIS-T enhances Sweden's ability to counter a wide range of aerial threats, from aircraft and helicopters to drones and cruise missiles. As of June 2025, the IRIS-T systems are fully operational, actively supported by ongoing modernization efforts, international collaborations, and significant contributions to Ukraine's defense, reflecting Sweden's strategic commitment to regional and collective security. The ground-based IRIS-T SLS, designated ELV-98, was, was introduced to replace the aging RBS-70 Man Portable Air Defense System. Deliveries began in 2016, with the Air Defense Regiment achieving full operational capability by 2019. The Swedish configuration is uniquely mounted on the BV-410, a tracked all-terrain vehicle derived from the BVS-10 by BAE Systems Heglunds, paired with the Saab Giraffe 1X radar. This setup provides a mobile, all-weather, 24-7 air defense solution with a 10 to 12 kilometers range and a 5 to 6 kilometers altitude ceiling, capable of engaging targets at Mach 2. The system's modular launcher, housed in a 10-foot ISO frame, accommodates four to six infrared-guided missiles with fire-and-forget lock-on after launch capabilities, making it highly effective against aircraft, UAVs, cruise missiles, and precision-guided munitions. The integration with Saab's modernized command and control systems and the Giraffe 1X radar, offering 360-degree coverage and a 75-kilometer detection range, ensures seamless operation within Sweden's multi-layered air defense network. Demonstrated at international exhibitions like ILA 2018, this configuration enhances Sweden's ability to protect critical assets and mobile units in diverse terrains, particularly in the strategically vital Baltic Sea region, where tensions with Russia remain a key driver of defense investments. In the air-to-air -air domain, the ARIS-T missile has been a critical component of the Swedish Air Force since December 2005, equipping the JAS-39 Gripen fighters. Developed as a replacement for the AIM-9 Sidewinder, the ARIS-T offers a 25 km range, an 8 km ceiling, and exceptional maneuverability due to its thrust vector control. Its infrared guidance and lock-on capabilities make it a formidable weapon in close air combat. Sweden's long-standing role in the IRIS-T program, initiated in 1995 alongside Germany, Greece, Italy, Norway, and Spain, underscores its commitment to maintaining cutting-edge air combat capabilities. In February 2025, Sweden joined a collaborative modernization effort with Germany, Italy, and Spain to enhance the IRIS-T missile family, potentially upgrading both air-to-air -air and ground-based variants. This initiative may include advancements like a stealthy non-cylindrical design, multi-spectrum infrared sensors, and a dual-pulse rocket motor, aligning with the development of the IRIS-T FCAM for the European Future Combat Air System. These upgrades aim to ensure the IRIS-T remains effective against next-generation threats, including stealth aircraft and advanced electronic countermeasures. Sweden's IRIS-T systems have also played a significant role in international security, particularly through military aid to Ukraine. In February 2023, Sweden announced the transfer of IRIS-T SLS systems as part of a broader aid package, coordinated with Germany to bolster Ukraine's defenses against Russian aerial threats. Further, in April 2023, posts on X reported that Sweden supplied 12 IRIS-T SLS systems to Germany for onward delivery to Ukraine, with efforts to mount these on Iveco Eurocargo 4x4 chassis for enhanced mobility. The IRIS-T SLS has proven highly effective in Ukraine, achieving a near 100% hit rate against drones, cruise missiles, and other targets, 
validating Sweden's strategic decision to contribute these systems. These donations reflect Sweden's dual commitment to supporting allies and testing its air defense systems in real-world combat scenarios, while maintaining sufficient domestic capabilities. The success of Iris-T in Ukraine has also bolstered confidence in the system's reliability, prompting Sweden to further invest in its air defense infrastructure. Looking forward, Sweden's involvement in the February 2025 Iris-T modernization program signals potential upgrades to its LVRB's 98 systems, possibly incorporating elements of the Iris-T SLX, a long-range variant with an 80km range and 30km ceiling, featuring combined radar and infrared seekers. While Sweden has not yet committed to adopting the SLX, its participation in the program suggests interest in enhancing its medium to long-range air defense to complement the Patriot Pac-3. The IRIS-T SLX could provide a cost-effective solution to bridge the gap between short-range systems like the SLS and long-range systems like the Patriot, creating a more robust defense against ballistic missiles and advanced drones. Additionally, Sweden's IRIS-T systems are being aligned with NATO's Integrated Air and Missile Defense System and the European SkyShield Initiative, which includes IRIS-T SLM and SLS batteries. This ensures interoperability with allies like Germany, Austria, Latvia, and Estonia, strengthening collective defense in the Baltic region, where Sweden's strategic island of Gotland remains a focal point. DL Defense's plan to scale up IRIS-T production to eight systems and 400 to 500 missiles annually by 2025 further supports Sweden's ability to maintain and potentially expand its inventory, ensuring long-term operational readiness. Sweden's defense strategy also emphasizes sustainability and adaptability, with the IRIS-T SLS benefiting from its modular design, which allows for rapid upgrades and integration with emerging technologies. For example, ongoing developments in sensor fusion and artificial intelligence could enhance the Giraffe 1X radar's ability to detect and track low observable threats, such as hypersonic missiles. The Swedish armed forces are also exploring ways to integrate IRIS T systems with other assets, such as the Global Eye Airborne Early Warning and Control Platform, to create a more cohesive air defense network. This aligns with Sweden's increased defense spending, which reached $11.3 billion, or 2.2% 2 .2 of GDP in 2024, with plans to hit 2.6% by 2028, supporting a $36 billion investment plan through 2035. These investments underscore Sweden's commitment to maintaining a credible deterrent in a volatile geopolitical environment.